Hey YouTube, what is going on? HGR here, back with another video down here in the Hidden Game Room. Today I've got a sort of response video uh, to Captain Algebra's LGN Fever and his quest for LGN. First up, the Karate Kid. Um, this one is not that bad. I did play it. I did all the game capture for these just before I started filming. So it's not that bad, but not that good either. Because as we know, most LGN titles suck anyway. Next up, Jaws. These, um, I didn't know what to do with that game. It wasn't that bad, but again, being my first time playing it, you know, I didn't know. Got out of the boat shooting fish with a harpoon. And then we got Gotcha the Sport. And this is a light gun game. So you have to have the light gun to play this. What you do is use the controller to move the screen. The light gun to shoot enemies. And it's, if it's two player, then one person moves, one person shoots. So, and all those were released in November of 1987. Um, TNC Wood and Water Rage. TNC Surf Designs. I used to play the crap out of this game. Um... Mainly because I was limited on what games I had as a kid, but yeah, I like playing that game. Now this one, MLB Baseball, um, it's almost a total piece of crap, but it's playable if you give it a chance. Um, then we have Friday the 13th from LJN, which this is actually not that bad once you get used to it and you figure out how that goofy map works. I was doing the game capture, it actually froze up, so didn't get to do a lot. Um, next we have Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I remember playing this as a kid, and you know, once you suffer through it and get used to it, it's actually not that bad a game, but never did beat it, never could figure out what to do. Next up, NFL Football. Now, I can't say anything about this, but it's a total piece of garbage all right next up back to the future now i did play this game uh, my friends had it and they played it i didn't do too good on it just now when i was playing it but um i did give it a shot next up x-men that game when i was a kid i remember getting it oh my gosh what a disappointment Went to the game store. I was like, oh, they got X-Men on Nintendo. Yeah. Well, should have left it. So that was actually one of the first games that I traded in, but ended up buying it back when I started collecting. So um, then we have Pictionary on the NES. This one's not that bad. You can figure out what the pictures are once you solve the puzzles. Back to the Future 2 and 3. Not much better than the first one, at least as far as I got in it. Um... If you like any of these or you got better experience please let me know in the comments but i was horrible at most of these this one not more on elm street not that bad um but i got to a part on there i couldn't figure out what to do it was like a down arrow to the steps and i just didn't know what to do now this is absolutely one of my favorite lgn games and probably one of my favorites on the nes uh the punisher it's um like a side scrolling shooter and just about everything in the game is free game as far as you shooting it, finding bonuses. Uh, then we have WrestleMania 2, uh, WrestleMania Challenge. So it is what it is. It was okay at the time. You know, we had nothing else to play. You, you were into wrestling, that's what you had. Then we have Beetlejuice, which uh, was horrible at that, and I really didn't know what to do. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, which I didn't read the uh, dialogue in it, so didn't make it too far in this one, but I do remember my friends playing that. I, it wasn't that bad a game from what I remember, but, you know, it is an LGN title, so. Wolverine in an X-Men Mega Battle versus Arch Nemesis Sabretooth. I don't know about that one. It wasn't that bad. I mean, if I give it a chance, but... The hit detection was kind of horrible on that. Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. And this one also came out on the Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo version was much better than that one. Um, Terminator 2 
horrible game on here. It's, oh my gosh, I don't even want to talk about it. I will show the gameplay footage, but uh, so forget it. Horrible game, horrible. Uh, this had a Thriller Surfari TNC2. Uh, actually, not that bad uh, for my first time playing it. Uh, I was in the jungle part. Didn't get too far, but I did enjoy it. Wasn't that bad of a game, as far as I could tell. Stuff. Steel Cage Challenge WrestleMania. Uh, probably one of the better ones on the NES, but again, it's an 8-bit wrestling game, so you know, you get what you get. Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six. I've heard some good things, heard some bad things. I personally, what I played of it, I didn't like it. But, you know, it is what it is. Sorry I'm going so quick through these, but they're LGN titles and you know, they just are what they are. Alien 3 LJN. Now, I played the Super Nintendo version of this extensively. I love it. This one is close. I don't know which if this was a port or if that was a port or this was a different game, but it was close. But I couldn't figure out the actual goals. Like in the Super Nintendo, there's a computer tells you what to do and you get your missions. And that one, it was just kind of like just go out there. Um, WWF King of the Ring. That was the last one in the series. Um, more realistic looking players, but still pretty horrible. So if I could figure out how to pin somebody in that one. And last up, uh, the Incredible Crash Dummies. This also came out on Super Nintendo. Um, this one is actually kind of fun. Uh, it was like a platformer. I didn't play much of it, but the part I did, I did kind of enjoy it. So, again, that's all the LGN games from start to finish. I'm going to work in gameplay with this, but I appreciate y'all for watching. And Captain Algebra, good luck to you getting all of them. And I will catch y'all at the next one. Peace!